Miss Honduras, Maria Jose Alvarado, aged 19, walked the runway with grace, capturing hearts with her winning smile. She was officially crowned Miss Honduras in 2014. With the world at her feet and the Miss World crown to look forward to, a horrible tragedy struck that would shatter that dream and shock the entire nation. A Honduran beauty queen has been found murdered just days before she was due to compete in the Miss World pageant in London. The bodies of Maria Jose Alvarado and her sister Sofia were found buried near a river in the mountainous region of Santa Barbara. Was it jealousy, rivalry, or something far more sinister? What was the role of her sister in her mysterious murder? Join us as we unravel the story of the murder of Miss Honduras, Maria Jose Alvarado, a beauty queen with a promising future, and her sister Sofia Trinidad. Maria Jose Alvarado beat 18 contestants to win the Miss Honduras crown in April and was due to appear at the Miss World 2014 competition. Eduardo Sabla le impone la corona a... With the crown on her head and the energy to conquer the world under her heels, Maria was filled with hope as both luck and hard work were in her favor. However, the Miss World contestant disappeared days before she was due to fly to London for the 2014 competition. But why? Let's trace back the events that followed her disappearance. On November 13, 2014, the sisters attended a birthday party at a spa in Santa Barbara. Little did anyone know, this party would be their last public appearance. The night was filled with music and laughter but as the evening progressed, something horrible and unimaginable was brewing. The sisters left the party in a car with no license plate, a detail that, in hindsight, was a glaring red flag. As expected, the two never reached home. When this news hit the authorities, a nationwide search ensued. The whole country was on edge, and the pressure was mounting on local authorities. Alvarado's mother, Teresa Munoz, said her daughter arrived at a birthday party at the La Aguagua Spa at around 6 p.m. that evening. The party was for the boyfriend of Alvarado's sister, Sofia Trinidad Alvarado. The sisters were seen leaving the spa later in a champagne-colored car with no license plates, their mother said. When the two women didn't return to their mother's house, their parents reported them missing. Fácil esto que estoy pasando. Y le digo a las madres de que cuide mucho a sus hijas, que estén pendientes de ellas. ¿Por qué? What worries me is that the car didn't have a license plate, Honduran beauty contest host Salvador Nasralla said. The root problem here is the rule of crime. With no evidence of a kidnapping, Honduran National Police weren't yet willing to say that they believed the disappearance was a crime. However, this didn't stop them from detaining four individuals, including Sofia Trinidad's boyfriend, Plutarco Ruiz, along with the spa owner, because they were the last people to see them, said Eric Mauricio Hidalgo of the Santa Barbara Police. Police Chief Jose Coelho originally said they were not treating the pair's disappearance as a crime, Hombre Plutarco Antonio Ruiz y el otro Eris eh, Aris eh, eh, Maldonado Mejía en cumplimiento de la misma con el propósito pues de poder ahondar en las investigaciones tanto la policía de investigación como también el ministerio público que en su momento estará haciendo lo propio. Bueno quiero decirle que es una de las personas que se logró identificar que estuvo en el evento en donde se denomina por parte de la familia como que es la persona novio de una de ellas, en este caso de Sofía Natividad Alvarado, 
en donde pues eh, recuerde que en las investigaciones nosotros hacemos eh, eh, todo este tipo de, de, de investigación referente al, al, al evento, referente al entorno que se está dando y él ha sido considerado pues una persona que, que en su momento pues eh, fue quien con quien tuvo mayor participación, mayor comunicación y estamos eh, orientando y profundizando esta... Mr. Coelho confirmed, four people were under arrest. They include the owner of the party venue and Sofia Trinidad's boyfriend. They are being investigated. The high-profile mystery was a special one, as it also occurred in a country that has the highest homicide rate in the world. And the area around the city of Santa Barbara is heavily controlled by drug gangs. But after nearly a week's search, everybody's worst fears came true as Maria Jose Alvarado, aged 19, and her sister Sofia Trinidad, aged 23, were found dead in Cablotala's village, near the Aguagua River. It was a brutal scene. Both sisters had been shot multiple times, and the murder site left a deep scar on anyone who witnessed it. The nation mourned, and the story captured international headlines. But what exactly happened to the sisters? Who murdered them, and why? Now here's where the story takes a dark turn. The investigation zeroed in on Sofia Trinidad's boyfriend, Plutarco Ruiz, The theory? A crime of passion turned deadly. But rumors swirled of deeper criminal ties. Drug trafficking, gangs, you name it. And yet, the full story remained just out of reach. Meanwhile, the bodies of the Alvarado sisters were laid to rest by family and friends, who condemned the killing and demanded justice. According to the investigators, Plutarco Antonio Ruiz, who was the boyfriend of the 23-year-old sister, became jealous after seeing her dance with another man at a party. He wanted to seek revenge and decided that the best way to do so would be by murdering her. He proceeded to kill her and Maria and buried them in a shallow grave. Plutarco Antonio Ruiz shot the two women multiple times before burying their bodies on a riverbank with the help of accomplices in November 2014. The daughter of a lower middle-class family from Santa Barbara, Alvarado had worked as a model for local department stores. Maria Jose's victory sashes remain proudly on display. Ellas no me decían esto. Ellas merecían brillar como, como siempre lo, lo habían pensado y brillar de una manera positiva. Y, y les quitaron eso, les quitaron los sueños que tenían. Julia Morley, chairman of the Miss World Organization, said the pageant was devastated by this terrible loss of two young women who were so full of life. The group said it would hold a service with the Miss World contestants on Sunday to honor the two women and say prayers for them and their families. Maria Jose described herself on a Miss World website profile as having aspirations for a career in government, specifically as a diplomat for her country. In her spare time, she says she enjoys playing sports, including volleyball and football, and enjoys performing the punta dance. Her official Facebook profile is home to hundreds of pictures of her posing with friends, as well as pictures of her preparing for competitions. Claudio Cecilio Munoz, an uncle of the sisters, said Ruiz came to the family's modest house on a dirt road the day after the young women disappeared to invite them to lunch and returned several days later to help with the search. He described Ruiz not as a boyfriend, but as someone who was courting his niece. We didn't file a complaint right away because we were waiting for a telephone call asking for ransom, Munoz said. On Saturday, their mother and I went to put in a complaint, and the killer was with us. Ruiz led investigators to the gravesite, where he and an alleged accomplice buried them in Santa Barbara, about 400 kilometers west of Tegucigalpa. Alvarado's body, wrapped in brown plastic, was loaded into the back of a pickup truck, just hours before she was to have boarded a flight to London to compete in the Miss World pageant. The jury in Honduras has found a 31-year-old man, Plutarco Antonio Ruiz, guilty of the double murder of beauty queen Maria Jose Alvarado and her sister, who was his girlfriend, Sofia Trinidad Alvarado. 
The Supreme Court sentenced Plutarco Ruiz, age 31, convicted of killing Miss Honduras World, and her sister Sofia Trinidad Alvarado to 45 years in prison. The case shocked the country and echoed across the world. But what is even more heartbreaking is the fact that statistically, Honduras has the worst murder rate in the world, and crimes such as kidnapping are common. In Honduras, one woman is murdered every 16 hours, usually by a man she knows, according to a 2015 estimate by the Honduras Center for Women's Rights, a non-governmental organization. Qué horrible lo que está pasando aquí en Honduras. Tanta mujer, tanta mujer que, que ha muerto. La mujer eh, nunca, nunca ha sido tomada en cuenta que el machismo del hombre, que el ego de ellos, que solo ellos pueden. Y... An analyst at the center, Nisa Medina, says that gender-based violence in the country is fueled by a sexist culture of gangs, guns, and girls, referred to as machismo in Spanish and women are viewed as dispensable. Men can do anything they want to women in Honduras, she said, because we think that it's common and it's something that you can be expected of living here. A diligent student with aspirations to become a diplomat, Maria navigated the worlds of academia and glamour with equal finesse, but her flight was cruelly cut short in a senseless act of crime. The case has sparked fury in the notoriously violent Central American country, home to the most dangerous city on the planet, and has made us all wonder, how safe are women, even in one of the more developed countries in the world? That's it for today's video. What do you think about this case? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more true crime videos. See you in the next video.